Throughout the season, you had some Bulls fans frustrated with Alex Caruso's play, saying that he hasn't met expectations, he's underachieved relative to what we saw from him last season, and throughout that time, you saw me in the comments of videos or even on Twitter, how this couldn't be further from the truth. You cannot simply just look at a box score or what a player brings on offense to measure their worth and impact on the court. Alex Caruso is one of these eye test players where if you actually watch him in the game, you see what he brings to the table despite the fact that his numbers aren't going to jump out at you on the stat sheet. Getting in the passing lanes, getting deflections, pestering his opponent on the perimeter that makes it so hard for them to score, slowing down the overall pace and flow of the offense from the opposing team. It's the little things he does that matter and after finally having a healthy season he has been rewarded with first team all defensive honors establishing himself among the league's elite on that end of the floor and i think it's important to remind everyone just how valuable he is as a player and that's what we'll be discussing further in this video so what's going on everyone you're listening to bull central here hope you're all doing well it's yet another thing to add to the list to further cement his goat status first team all defense now nah, i kid but look this is actually a pretty big deal for a player like Caruso, who truly had to work his way into the NBA and establish himself as a legitimate player in this league. From going undrafted as a four-year college player to getting summer league invites that didn't pan out and getting signed to a team, to finally getting a shot with the Oklahoma City Thunder's G League team, to then getting waived by the Thunder, to then signing a two-way deal with the Lakers where he impressed so much in the limited games he played with them that he was finally able to sign his first fully guaranteed deal with the Lakers in 2019. Goes on to win a championship with them as an integral piece in their title run as one of the better defenders and energizers on their roster. Highlight real dunks that folks didn't think was possible to see from a player like him. To then signing a four-year deal with the Chicago Bulls, which we all know the Lakers screwed up and not prioritizing him when he hit free agency. And for Caruso, unlike a lot of players in the NBA who maybe take their talent for granted and don't have to work as hard to be top players in the league, Caruso has fought hard and kept pushing and working to get better, to make a name for himself while also knowing and understanding his role and what he can bring to teams. Now, what's impressive about Caruso and what he's been able to do, because again, it's not easy to be selected first team all defense. Only the top five defenders in the league get those honors. What's impressive is you look at the rest of the guys on that first team list. Drew Holiday, Jaron Jackson Jr., Brooke Lopez, and Evan Mobley. These are all starters on their respective teams who get a lot of playing time. And while Caruso started in 36 games of the 67 that he played in this season, he played considerably less minutes than those other four guys, only averaging 23 and a half minutes per game. Yes, he was still able to finish 14th in the league in total steals despite the limited minutes and finish first in the entire league in steal percentage. You look at his per 36 minutes and per 100 possessions, it's actually crazy what he was able to achieve at over 3 steals per 100 possessions and 1.4 blocks per 100 possessions. And of course, maintaining one of the best defensive ratings in the league as AC finished the year 8th overall in defensive rating and 2nd in the league in defensive box plus minus, again for a player who didn't even average playing half a game per season. And to me, what's most striking, and this isn't just a testament to Caruso, but other guys on the Bulls roster as well, the Bulls finished fifth in defensive rating this season, seventh in opponents' points per game. This is coming off of a year in which the Bulls finished 22nd in defense last season, a team that has DeMar DeRozan, Zach Levine, and Nikola Vucevic, strong offensive players but not at all known for their defense, finished fifth on defense in the NBA. Like your other players outside of the big three have to be pretty damn good on defense to be a top five defensive team in the league. And that starts with Alex Caruso, who is the Bulls best defender and was really able to guard positions one through four throughout the season. He had to with the limited options the Bulls had in terms of wing defenders as well as at the power forward spot, which was really just Patrick Williams. Credit to Pat though. He was great for the Bulls on that end of the floor throughout the year. Io is also a solid defender, as is Derek Jones Jr. Even Andre Drummond can be at times as well. And to the credit of guys like Levine, DeRozan, and Vucevic, they actually played strong defense at times, just wish they would have been able to actually put forth that kind of effort on the floor consistently. But no, no, the Bulls don't finish as one of the top teams in the league on defense without Alex Caruso. And that's case in point when he missed half the season last year due to injury, thanks Grayson Allen, and the Bulls ended up finishing 22nd on D. That's not just a coincidence. It's a strong correlation to Alex Caruso being a lockdown defender. It also did help that Patrick Williams played the whole season while he missed most of the year last year, but the proof is in the pudding. Alex Caruso is an elite defender, which I think most of us Bulls fans already knew if you've seen him play night in and night out, but he's finally getting recognized as such, and it's about time. 
It will be interesting though to see if the Bulls use this recent accomplishment from Caruso to further leverage his trade value for teams who are interested in his services. I still highly doubt the Bulls would ever move on from Caruso who is on such a team friendly deal unless it's for an insane haul but maybe some team would offer a big haul for him now after being selected to first team all defense. I don't want him to leave though, so I hope it doesn't happen, but either way, let me know what you guys think about AC being selected to first team all defense. Let me know in the comments. As always, be sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.